Welcome to a physio's approach and five exercises to help strengthen your shoulders. So the first move here is called spring and autumn. So you can see I came up with the hands forwards and then reached outwards behind me, palms facing forwards, shoulder height. So here we're working the rotator cuff muscles as we're coming up the shoulders, having a rest. Widen those shoulders, shoulders back, palms facing forwards, and then slowly coming down in front of you with the waist. This is really quite hard for the rotator cuff. Some of you may struggle with it, so do what you can, and then slowly come down to the start position. And that's spring and autumn. Lovely exercise to start with. So this next one is called separating the clouds. So what we're doing is taking a deep breath in as we rise, sinking the knees as we come down, palms facing forwards, just slightly crossing the palms at the top above your head, shoulders back again. Try and set the shoulders back because that just minimizes chronic pain in your shoulder and controls the movement of your scapula a little bit better as you're reaching upwards. And the palms facing forwards helps give you external rotation which can minimize chronic pain like impingement or rotator cuff related shoulder pain. Now we're going into this position called the high surrender with full rotation. So we're bringing the arms up into 90 degrees elbow flexion and then we're rotating the whole spine, keeping the arms there as far back as you can, shoulder blades back again. This is harder than it looks because we've got to get the arms there to that position and if they're weak, you may struggle to hold them there. They are certainly working rotator cuff muscles and in particular the back one's called infraspinatus and teres minor. Coming up with those arms, following it with your torso and your head to that rear arm, keeping that front arm up as well and then slowly coming down, breathing out. That's a hard one and some of you may struggle with it. So the next one here is called the Butterfly. So it's like a butterfly stroke. We're coming up with both arms, palm facing forwards and then down. Again, this can be a struggle for people because as you bring the arms forwards, you're adducting the shoulder. I bring them together and that can rotate them in the shoulder joint and that can give you pain. So some of you may struggle with this. So don't bring the arms so far in front of your body if you are struggling with it. This next move is the final move, and this is the high rotation with the reach. So what you're doing with that back arm is extending the elbow all the way back behind you. Back to the start position, have a rest. Come up into the high surrender again, and then we're going to the other side, extending the elbow, reaching back, rotating the torso, rotating the neck and head, and then slowly coming back with that extended elbow, back into the high surrender, and then come down, have a rest. This is probably one of the hardest ones for shoulder, and some of you may struggle with it, so don't do it if you're in too much pain. But it's a good one for building up strength in the rotator cuff muscles that stabilizes your shoulder. So retaining this position here is really hard. But it's great for shoulder strength and slowly come down over rest. So that concludes the five exercises to improve shoulder strength. Give them a go and just do your best.